Yo, what's poppin'? It's your boy Ace Torn. Yes, sir. We back at it again. I am the voice of the South Q Smitty with Polar Jocks. Give you that cool rush today. Hey, I'm going to keep it 10 stacks. We got a special mm-hmm. guest in the building. Real special. Mm-hmm. <laughs> special, Five special. Man, man this guy's a heavy up. hitter, man. I ain't going to lie to you. Stacks move around a lot. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, down there, a ghost. That nobody will never see him. We just hear him about him. <laughs> if you don't know who he is, man, this nigga 10 stacks. What's happening, bro? What's private, man? How y'all, how y'all doing, man? Man, I can't call it, man. We're doing good, but you looking like money, smelling like money. Yeah. Oh, Talk to man. me. Man, I ain't doing it too much. Big money. Oh, what's poppin', boys? Torn, what happened? Pull the jocks with me. You need to pull up at the Dr. Bars. No cover charge. And guess what? You got to be 21 to enter. You got to. The world's games is here. So you trying to pregame. Right now, Dr. Bar, what you need to come to? You trying to wind down. This is fight you need to come to. Or I'm trying to move around a certain way. You don't want too many people in your business. The Birmingham Dacker Bar, what you need to come to, man. 324 9th Street North. And also, don't forget, Sunday through Thursday, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. It's Polar Jobs. Now back to the show. Seen you since last show, man. What been going on with you, though, bro? Still working. Yeah. Still working. Overworking. Mm-hmm. I got some shit finna get ready to drop in June, July. You know that tour coming in July. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. So we back at it again. I wanted to talk about that, too, because I noticed that about you. You know, so I've been following you for a while. Like, mm-hmm. you real creative. You know what I'm saying? Your music videos, your music, all of that is yeah. creative. And then, like, you know what I'm saying? You just, you don't put your personal business out there. Like, you just... Go back into the seat behind the scenes, and then you just pop back out of nowhere. Yeah, you know what I, I'm saying? I just feel like this. Like, say for instance, when, when people be out, like, say for instance, you got something going, right? Yeah. And you on the scene too, too much. Yeah. You ain't got nothing going. Mm. Mm. That's real talk. You there. Yeah. Like, you supposed to be working. Go work. Do what you supposed to be doing. Then by the time what you supposed to be doing done, mm-hmm. and you ready, pop back out. Then so you, you got have... something to bring to the situation right. you're in. Yep. So you saying you have no reason always knowing what's going on. No, you don't. I mean, if you caught, like, okay, say for instance this, man. Celebrate if you want to. Do your thing. You know right. what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. You feel me? But when you're working, cool. You got, it's a goal. Like, you feel me? It right. do not stop. It do not stop. And then it's like, boom, I, I'm me being a rapper. Mm-hmm. I come to the club to see you all the time, and I don't have a damn song to bring you. Yeah. Yeah, like, boom, when I come back, I'm going to have some. <laughs> I got some ready for you. Yeah, let's rock out type time. So, tell me, where you get your creativity from, though, bro? Bro, I don't know. I just, I believe in this, like, just being myself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, so, like, bro, bro, I'm a big nigga now. Yeah. I can say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Say what you want to say. Yeah. So, I'm a big nigga, man. And then, boom, I live a certain life outside of the music regardless. Right. I don't have to goddamn pull up nowhere and be like, yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? Be tough on a nigga. I ain't yeah. got to be tough on you. Just be yourself, cuz. And I believe in, like, say, smiling, man. Like, yeah. having fun with this shit. Like, life too short to just be serious every goddamn day. Yeah, really. If tough. you serious every day, you one boring ass nigga. Man, man say that shit no again. Count, man. That is true. Say that shit one more time. For, for sure. Bad, bro. Yeah, but man. in this industry, though, man, you got to deal with a lot of that shit. A lot of niggas, you know what I'm saying? They be in the music video acting tough, acting hard, and then behind the scenes, listen, acting tough and hard. How yo, you deal with that? Listen, I don't deal with it. I just I <laughs> got to tell my go smoke me a cigarette and let them do their thing. But yeah. listen. I think I think a lot of the time motherfuckers get caught up in their image. Mm-hmm. I'm just me. You see what I'm saying? So that's how I get to make the look back at it. Fell in love with the freaks, drills. Uh, then I bounce to different songs like that. And that's what I'm saying. Like far yeah. as to keep that creativity, keep going like that. Cause, yeah. Because everything you got down there came out, bro. It's like it's like you kind of expect niggas gonna come with some with a hit. Yeah. But you don't expect it to come like this. Yeah, like, like that. Like, this like, didn't yeah. come like that. Yeah, like, it, it's, I, I it's, come, yeah. Different, it's on a different vibration, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, could, I try to put that out there. Like, say, friends, bro, who look like me and make the kind of music I make? All right. Nobody. So, boom, if me bringing something totally different to the table is what I perfected. Mm-hmm. And being like, shit, bro, I'm going to be me on the camera, off the camera, with you, with you. Boom, you get the same one. Yeah. Not switch it up here. Yeah. Yeah. What's your journey looking like right now? So I know you getting ready for the tour. Okay. I just, boom, we still in the deal, drama boy songs. Mm-hmm. No cap. Everything, all that's finished. We just got the masters and shit back for all that. Yeah. Drama boy, Twisted Genius. I was just about to say that. You've been, been in the lab with him a, a lot lately, dog. 
with it. Mm-hmm. I got. I, I got talked to Cal. I was like, I got this nigga, this nigga I got five him songs. And Twist the jeans, goddamn, yep. neck and neck. I got. I got five songs left to turn in mm-hmm. with him. And shit, I'm actually done with the five songs, and them turned out to be the banging motherfuckers harder than the other ones. The five you got. Yeah, because I'm just in doing them but getting better. Because I'm. Yeah. Set, yeah. Like 30 deep. Yeah. So you got shit. You got to yeah. turn in. Mm-hmm. How, explain that when you say turn in a song. So you got a deadline or a certain amount of time for you turning the song with the producer, okay, or just say, to say, make. No, I bet. Make so the when, I, when I say turning in, boom, I'll everything finna get ready to shift in music. Yeah. Feel me? And my turn need to be solidified before I want to have. I was I want to have all my music solidified, then take off. Like, mm-hmm. boom. You gotcha. be, I don't even have to be around when the song drop type shit. Mm-hmm. Or you ain't got to call me and say, hey, bro, you need to be in the studio. Yeah. I, I worked it already. Right, right. Yeah. Um, where's the music transitioning to, or where's 10 State music transitioning to? Boom. Oh, damn. That's a good ass question. Uh, more fun, but I'm turned. I'm getting more comfortable with talking about certain things. Yeah. Yeah. Like what though? Shit, cause just, I know you. Okay, cause like, what you, I right, bro, like okay, look back at it, right? That's yeah. a different song. The newest shit that y'all ain't heard, it's got that mixed with my real life mixed with just everything all in one. Mm-hmm. Mm. So it's just like boom, it's gonna be a combination. Yeah. Like the shit niggas rap about, I, I do my thing about. It. Mm-hmm. The shit I rap about and sing about, I'm mixing it with that and making it one me. Yeah. So basically, I just focused. I focused all the way in on my self, you know yeah. and then boom, I channeled all that. And then now you gonna you gonna know stacks when you hear stacks type shit. Right. That's what I was working on. And the real part is the, the what you call the music when you heard it and it felt good to you a long time ago. Nostalgia, or it, uh, some yeah. shit like that. What it called? Yeah. St- St- Nostalgia. Yeah. 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 I'm bringing that shit out. Yeah. You gonna hear it, boy, that shit hard. I like that same yeah, shit. Yeah, so like boom, probably your favorite song I done done it now. Yeah. But I made it upgrade. Oh shit, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. <laughs> man. Hey man, let's talk about that. We ain't never get a chance to talk about this either. Mm. You on tour with Lil Baby. How yeah. did like how did that turn out? Well, first of all, shit. how did that pop off? Oh, plugged in with the mob. No, uh. I was just, I was just talk, hey, but yeah, my my people. Goddamn, my people. It's all on who you know and how you know them. I mm-hmm. say that shit a lot. But that's the truth like a motherfucker. I cannot stretch that enough. Yeah. Like, it's all on who you know and how you know them. And I just so happen to know and I'm locked in with the best people in the world to be locked in with. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Were you able to have conversations with little Baby? And if so, what were those conversations like? Okay, check this out. Everybody on rapper mode. Yeah. So it ain't like, it ain't like uh, we buddies, none of that shit. You, we walk like, we we'll be in the Straight. same little motherfucker. E, he, e. Yeah. But it ain't like it's rapper mode. It'll be have to be off the scenes when we talk mm. or bump into each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that makes sense. Shit like that. Yeah. Now you in the industry now. So mm-hmm. far as like, like you ain't out there yet. Yet mm-hmm. the preparation is coming. Yeah. So I know you see a lot of shit. Yeah, a little, a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? So like far as like, like what? <laughs> Come on, talk. You know, I'll be blunt. Yeah, blunt. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold on. shit back. Come on. So is this shit like? I know that they say in the industry is fake, 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 fake. Yeah. I'm not a rapper. Mm-hmm. So I'm not, I hear it, yeah. but I'm not in the industry to really experience yeah. what's going on. Yeah. So you in this motherfucker. Yeah. How is it? Fake. Is everything goddamn prepared? Like, not prepared, but if it is Pre-prep. everything. Yeah. Yeah, we would have just talked about this five minutes ago mm-hmm. with the PR. We, y'all would have just, we just had this talk already and doing it again right now. Yeah. So we doing this on one take. We'll start back over, make the walk in look good. I got the cameras with me. Yeah. Uh this shit look like a mega event. Right. Yeah. So it's fake. Yeah. Like you said. It's 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 pre programmed. Yeah. Like yeah. Like yeah, say face like if it. I say this, if I say, all right, it's one all right, boom, we're gonna shake hands again mm-hmm. when he come back in the room. He gonna shake hands with you. We're gonna lock in, laugh at the camera, and sit down. Mm. Yeah, and I done already just done that shit with y'all, like right now. Right. Yeah. Did you get tired of that shit, or you be like, man, I ain't looking. Listen, I'm tired bro, of doing this shit. I'm gonna tell you the yeah. truth, I ain't, and I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. I work so hard to to be this shit and yeah. be in this position, 
it it's everything I kind of damn expected for real. Yeah. But I still know who I am outside of that. Right. That's the main thing. You know? I kind of all this shit that I wanted is coming into fruition. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's that the word, but it's like happening. But then I get to see shit. Yeah. But then you got a different understanding level on it. Like I might I might not like what's going on, but mm-hmm. I gotta handle it and let's do it. Yeah. Hey, that's real talk, you know what I'm saying? That's get a real done. game, though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Get that shit done. I mean, that's the, that's. Just, I mean, yeah, get it done. When you in the studio, mm-hmm. do you, far as like the energy, is it important to you with the producer, or you gotta, or you? Because I know yeah, when, yeah. You, when you collaborate with a producer, mm-hmm. sometimes the energy might not be right. Y'all hear yo? Okay. You, See what twisted. Mm-hmm. Uh, twisted be in that motherfucker turn. You know what I'm saying? He be like, so what you on today? Yeah. Like, shit. That's the first question. Like, what you on? I be like, shit, boom, let's turn that motherfucker up. Yeah. The first one ain't gonna be his turn, but we gonna build and get there. Mm-hmm. Drum boy, he come and I already know what he want you to do type shit. Feel me? He more seasoned than cool. You yeah. feel me? Like, right. Oh, bad. He more seasoned than cool. So, he know what he want you to do already. Mm-hmm. Twist it, he gonna be with you. Yeah, drama gonna put you in the game. Word. So, what are the do's and don'ts of working with Ten Stacks in the studio? Um, do it fucking with me. Yeah, yeah. like that phone out shit. When you know what I'm saying, like the phone out, like you know what I'm talking about, cub. Yeah, like you feel me? We working. We locked in. We know we locked in in this mm-hmm. room. Ain't no need for you to be like this. Why nigga rapping? Right. Or exactly. Yeah. Some, you feel me? Cause I might get a phone call. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Just yeah. simple shit like that. That's what I learned about being around up. Everybody else, mm-hmm. that phone out shit. That shit a distraction. It's a distraction, bro. Like for real. Like mm-hmm. it really be messing with the energy sometimes. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, cause think. nigga be like this right here while we having a real ass talk. Like yeah. what the fuck, cuz? Now you fucking it up. Video it ain't organic no more. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Then like the moment. It's a moment. Yeah, you can't. You can't record the special moment. Yeah, if we say for instance, boy, I'm done recording, we fucking kicking it. Yeah. yeah. Now we good. Right. But like doing the process and all that shit, like, come on, let's just chill. If you come to chill, chill. Yeah. For sure. What's your journey? What's your now, uh, mindset of it? Like what what you really wanna achieve in this in this thing that you're doing? Um if I you want me to say it? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be the first artist to come out with a project and every song go platinum. <laughs> that's what you feel. That's what I know. That's what's gonna happen. I'm then, setting shit. it up like that. If you feel that, do you feel like those five songs that you were talking about earlier, you know, really clicked that every, mindset to you? Yeah, every one of them. No artist has came out with a body of work. Mm-hmm. The whole body of work go platinum. Mm-hmm. I want each song to go platinum by itself first. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got a game plan for this shit. It's all about I've been working quality. so hard. Yeah. Y'all just don't know I've been working so hard, and I don't have no team of writers. I was just gonna ask you that. So, yep. with your team, do you have people that help you market? What you Mark, got going? Yeah. Okay. Boom. On the new this the, the, when my my starting situation now. Yeah. So boom, last two years, you do the media training and shit. Yeah. So boom, we gonna have mock interviews and shit. Mm-hmm. So I know how to maneuver around a question I don't want to answer, shit like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. Yeah. For the most part, this new machine, this a machine, God. Yeah. I just ain't saying it yet, but yeah, yeah. I feel that. We locked in. How I feel to have that machine up behind you coming from where you have no. To no. To none. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That, that shit, shit feel good. It, you just waiting on it to go. Yeah. That's the most stressful damn part, sitting around being like, sitting around being like, now when is she going to go, fam? Mm-hmm. That's the part. Yeah, Patience. The yeah. yeah, patience. And a lot of guys out here, well, even women who are artists and stuff like that, they don't have no type of patience. You know what I'm saying? But people don't realize, like, you've been doing this for years. Yeah, they been, because they'll burn themselves out. Yeah. I don't burn myself out. Right. Yeah. Why would I? Because if I ain't got nothing for you, cuz, and shit, I ain't got nothing for you, come pull yeah. up on me. You feel me? <laughs> right, right, right. That's right. just dead on that. Straight up, got nothing for you, shit. I don't bang, got shit for you. That's all you can you say. What up can you say? Yeah. Okay, you ain't finna say, man, damn. Ain't Tense that's supposed to be goddamn this caliber right here? And what the fuck is he doing? Right. 
Yeah, you finna do me like that. Yeah. The integrity in this rap shit, bro. The rap is the most humbling shit ever. Mm-hmm. And you guys, all right, boom. Let me. I finna put. I finna put it to you raw. Rap shit is so humbling to be up in real life. You could be up in real life a million percent. Yeah. But then you gotta ask people to listen to your music, look at motherfuckers, watch you perform, yeah. and not even fucking bob their head, but could be feeling the shit at you. Mm-hmm. But you're a new artist. Especially where I'm from. Yeah. I can't say I got all the hate. I got love for the most part here. So yeah. I, I can't I can't um relate to the hate here. Yeah. Now I'm I don't put myself in the situation to be around that shit. To be yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but you being from Alabama and everything yeah. like that, talk about that being in the industry. How are you accepted in the industry, dude? You feel like you have to go over, jump over different obstacles compared to other people who are from other cities and states? Nah, because shit, okay, check this out, bro. You got you got people here now that's turned as hell. Hell yeah. Like, could, you feel me? I don't name drop, but like, uh, Yavo made the XXL, bro. I actually yeah. voted for that shit. Like, turn up, my nigga. Mm-hmm. You see big. what I'm saying? But now everybody don't think like me. That's yeah. an artist. You got motherfuckers that's just too hard for fucking hard. Like, they too tough, hard. Tough. And I smack the shit out of one of them. Yeah. But see, that's different than what I make. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. In yeah. real life, you motherfuckers is too tough, bro. Like bro, just stop that shit, bro. Talk about it. How you how you not rap, how you not talk about it in your music? But I, in real I'm life, that shit. In real life, it's yeah. the total opposite type of shit going on. It makes feel good when you Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right. I don't want and you to get what, shot, my nigga. I don't want now one of y'all in this room to get shot. Right. I ain't finna even say nothing bad about the room. Mm-hmm. Couple holes in it, bitch. Or put a hole on the table, tight time. Yeah. Make this shit funner. Yeah. See, that's yeah. the difference between people who actually grew up in that type of environment and people who didn't. Because yeah. if you grew up in it, you'd be like, man, I don't want to Everybody, rap everybody can talk about that shit on rap, though. So that's, yeah. the, that's the catch, too. Yeah. See, when y'all say real and fake, real and fake, real yeah. and fake. Yeah. Just because I don't talk about it, they'll be like, all right, come to my side. Yeah. Come chill with me for one day. Tight shit, and then they be like, "Damn, what the fuck else got going on?" He's <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? This but then, shit. <laughs> yeah, that this that rap shit is confusing. So, yeah. motherfucker, anybody can get on the booth and be gangster. That shit ain't fun, bro. I, I want all the hoes, man. Fuck that gangster shit. Yeah. Get all the bitches in the money. That's where it's at. Cause see, nowadays yeah. they don't even have. The, the women and stuff in the music video. Oh, they they got filthy, filthy nigga Damn. entourage. <laughs> what? Filthy, that is stupid as Filthy nigga bro. entourage. You hear me? Filthy right. all them niggas. That's all we see. Get what, cool. Out of them filthy, it probably $5,000 and all with all of them. Mm-hmm. Together. Together. Mm-hmm. What the fuck? Boy, I know. I got five, four, four, five niggas with me, and we a million plus. <laughs> Real stuff. That's I swear crazy. to God. Yeah. That's real talk now. Like, I got n- good people around me and people, yo, they care about me. For sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, Stats, I fuck crazy, with you, bro. Ten Stats, man, the building right now, we got rocking out with us, man. So, Stats, tell the people, if you was in position, bro, and you ain't really had no connections, mm-hmm. you don't know who to talk to, mm-hmm. but you 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 hungry, bro. You trying to blow mm-hmm. in the music industry. That's how I did drill. Yes. Talk to <laughs> me. You're going to get my whole drip story. Stupid hell. Yeah, what, yeah, what would you say? What would you tell an artist that, bro? What I tell them, boom, I give them the format of my whole drip campaign. Mm-hmm. Drip was the first song everybody know me about. No count. Before that, bro, I went every fucking well. Mm-hmm. Every well. I bought shirts. First, I say, stack you some money. Because you got some hard shit. You got to stack yeah. you some money. Yeah. Not much money. When I talk about money, cause money is just money regardless. So yes, just stack you some bread. Boom. People like free shit. Boom. Hand out some shit. Oop the whoop. It could be a QR card or whatever. But just do it bigger than life. I went in the gallery, took over the whole fucking gallery, giving out CDs and taking pictures with everybody. Yeah. I went everywhere and 
took pictures and gave CDs. Mm-hmm. See, CDs was in when I was first. That's what I was going to say. Now, y'all, now that this. shit count. But look, right. now, I've been on this shit every year consecutively, bro. I yeah. ain't ne- never not hit the radio none since I've been popular. Mm. Even if I don't do shit, I'm on the radio mm. every year mm-hmm. since then. <laughs> so it's been five years, five year run. But before the five years, I was still living like the rapper, and that's what fucked me up in the beginning. <laughs> L- living like a rapper. Mm-hmm. And then you ain't popping, and you think you popping in your head because you made a song. Damn, the basis. Deep. Talk about that shit, bro. Yeah, just because you got a little money and made a song, bro. You still ain't shit to the rap world. <laughs> right. I, like this. Like I said the other day, I said this shit, and I meant this shit. Okay. Rap rank and real world rank is different. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I just didn't think about that. Rap, rap rank, rank day, real and career. real world rank, it's two different, different things. For sure, you could be high in the rap rank, but in yeah, reality, bro, bro you, you could be the here. richest nigga in here right now. But uh, money man, man, I'm still ain't gonna let you back there with them. Mm-hmm. Why not? Because they don't know you exactly. But if yeah. you was another a rapper yeah. that had some rank, Frank Cole back politics. Yeah. Oh man, it don't matter what yeah, you got, cause it's how you do this shit. How you do it? Mm-hmm. So you money, shit is, money then don't even make sense next to a rapper. As long as I got a, a video with me and views, and you do too, you want to fuck with me. So that's what it. So really, that's what it boils down to. <laughs> yeah, not not really the money type shit. Hell no, nah, cause a lot of shit be capped out anyway. Mm-hmm. So it's like shit, money don't even make sense. You got clout right now. I'm fuck with you. Yeah. That's how it pretty much that makes sense. Not me personally, but that's just how that works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the formula. That's the formula. But yeah. it is good for what it's good for, but that's why I said real world and rap world is two different ranks. Because mm-hmm. shit, you could, in real world, you could have five fucking million dollars, all the flash cars, all the flash bitches. Mm-hmm. But in the rap world, they don't know that. So use the peon. Because everybody got that in the rap world. Yeah, much. and then you pull up. Who is this nigga? Yeah. You don't hold on rank. And that's the humbling and shit ever. That's some real ass That talk. happened to you before? Yeah. When we, when we was the first date on one tour, cook, I asked somebody for a lighter, yeah. and they just looked at me. Yeah, they just looked at you like, you <laughs> yeah, want a lighter? Yeah. You're like, what about the cars that was asking you for shit? Yeah. Yeah, they start asking me for shit once it got cooler. Yeah. Rank, rap rank. Right, Here right. we go. Right. Now I go out on tour and these motherfuckers start rocking these shows on their ass. Yeah. Damn, big bro. Let me get a cigarette, big bro. Yeah. Let me get down smoke small with you, big shit, bro. You start realizing. What you, man, where you from? Now they want to know me. Mm-hmm. They ain't want to know me when I ask for a lighter. Yeah. Real nigga shit. Damn. I ask for a lighter. I say, let me get a lighter. Cool said. Just like that. And went on deal with the fuck you gonna do. That shit was so disrespectful. But get what? Why you was on tour? Yeah. Cause they didn't know who I was at first. You know, I jumped on the last one. Right, right. I jumped on both of the last ones. Like, just jump on. Mm-hmm. No cap. They was on some shit like, who the fuck is this fat nigga back here? Yeah. Yo, man, I'm eating y'all chicken too. No cap. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh, you artists out there, man. Make sure y'all listen. He giving y'all some <laughs> real life game, That's real, man. I've been some real stats game, since bro. I first met, bro. So this nigga solid, man. Right. I say this on camera, like, yeah, bro. man. It's, bro, it's, solid as fuck, like, man. What the fuck? Like, with you, man, you, you definitely seem like a fun guy. Like, what's the craziest party that you've been to? What's the craziest solid, experience man. you've had And you know what I'm saying? Having fun. Shit. Having fun? Yeah. Oh, uh, we have a lot shit. of fun, cuz. Probably shit just ain't ready for this podcast type talk. You hear me? <laughs> you feel me? Well, but like I said, we, we have fun. Keep it raw. Nah, yeah. I'm saying we have shit. What kind of fun? It don't matter, man. Like, shoot, you get like, too high. You want to talk about you, my fun? You know. My first day on the tour? Y'all want to talk about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, go ahead. Talk about that. Yeah. Boom. I pulled up at, you know what I'm saying? I went to the airport for the. I think it was Riley or somewhere. Mm-hmm. I think Riley, Riley Airport, Riley Durham. It's about in, uh, North Carolina. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Boom. I ain't know what we was there for. That's what don't nobody even know. You said you ain't know what you was there for? No. So who just, who took you to the airport? My people. They just drove. Yeah, they was like, bro. It's a surprise type shit? They was like, 
Oh, they were like, come on, we just finna goddamn ride. Hmm. We finna go out You gotta have too. a lot of trust in them. Hell yeah. Yeah, I, I fuck with them. I guess that's, my that's, so when we was, that's when we used to be in trust. Okay. I would ask so many guys. Like, let's go. Boy. On some shit, like, let's go. We had, he counts with me. So mm-hmm. it was like, it okay. wasn't no mission. Like, these ain't no bad people. Right, right, yeah. yeah. They was like, they want to show me something. Right, yeah. So it's like, boom, they might got something for me. They might not. Right. <laughs> you know, they were playing. Right. So once we got them, Shit, they were like, go on, get dressed, boom. Go on, get dressed. So, cuz, I pull up at the show, mm. back, you know, getting through like an artist. Yeah. I'm sitting here like, man, what the fuck going on? No cap. Test that, she going in three minutes. Yeah. Oh, shit. You ain't did no, no, no sound check, nothing, that shit. Nothing. Don't know DJ walked over to me and said, let me know what songs you going to do. Mm. Talk to me while you doing them. That's all me and the DJ interaction we had. That's it. That's it. He came to the side and said, give me the songs. Boom, he got the songs. Fat Boy Rama, man. Shout out to Fat Boy Rama. Oh, yeah. Fat Boy Rama. He came to the side of the stage. Yeah. Boom. Pull, he put, yeah. Oh, yeah. He pulled his laptop out. Boom. Put my shit on there. He was like, boom. Um, when you get ready to do your break, say, hey, DJ. Boom. Mm-hmm. My went out there on first show on God. 3500 no rocked them front and back, no cap. Did, and this the one I did, did you film that? All that's on there, yeah. The that's Carolinas. I seen, that shit I on my seen Instagram. All the we only put so many of them on there because yeah. we didn't want to oversaturate it. For sure, like the this Carolinas fought with Alabama music, yeah. though. Man, they listen, fought with us, listen, bro. They, they didn't know me. Nothing. Listen, nah. bro, they you didn't even announce me on the tour fly. No, mm-hmm. I couldn't even say I'm going. Yeah. Yeah, that I you remember? Yeah, Mike, you remember on, I blue, told you rap blue, rank. Blueface showed up. It showed that like that. Uh, Forty Two Doug showed up. Respect to all of that. The show was nice, but for a person that never been promoted like that, and we just came out there on a, on a, hey, this is who it is, yeah. and we did that when we hit that city. Most definitely, he went out there and rocked it. You know what I'm saying? And that's time. how you earned your rap rank. Real talk. That was rap rank. Yeah. Real life rank. I was around the rappers. Now that's when it started. I told you about the lighter. Now they asking me for cigarettes. Uh, shit, big bro. What do? Now I'm big bro. Yeah, once they, once they see you. See what you can do. Yeah, we out at the hotel kicking shit. Yeah. Like, bro, I got pictures with all these people I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. We kicking it at the hotel. Talking about kicking it, kicking it. Like, they just been new me because I rocked the show. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that shit, that shit But wild. see, you know what I'm saying? That's... Pretty much a lot now of I things too, like, you know. Like y'all yeah. got some weed, bit bro. All right, tight shit. Yeah, like in the fraternity. Like, damn, world. fam. Yeah, you get to the point. We nigga asking a little too too much, huh? Nah, I'm yeah. just saying. You you can get some, but you ain't want to give me a lighter. Yeah. Just I remember this. Same cool. same nigga. Yeah, that's cool. See, that's, that's sad, man. But yeah, that's how it usually go. Like even like with fraternity they sororities and shit like that, shit, they may not want to rock with you until they can see that you can stroll or yeah. you you spit your knowledge or some yeah, shit yeah. like that. That's yeah. cool. I went in and did what I supposed to do, had to do. They got my rap rank with their section, right? Right. Yeah. Every section is divided though. So not just because I rock with these niggas. Mm-hmm. When I go around these niggas, it's finna start over again. Right. Got to do the same shit until. This run right here. Mm. I'll be up there. Anyway. Until you legit yeah. and solidify, solidify all over the place. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then they un, then they understand. They be like, "Shit, bro." Um, yeah, you know, bro. They ask all them questions. They be like, "Who, who did your teeth, bro, bro?" They want to know all this shit. Then cut my diamonds better than them. Mm-hmm. That's real life, right? Right, right. Right from here. Different ranks. Hey, this is 10 stacks worth of game, y'all. Man, bro, I got this shit for you. Pop. Pop, pop. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's the light yeah, package. That the that's the light combo. But that shit, pop. You know, that right there. They got damn. Let's talk about, so what them, what them things is in now? What them is in now? In, IF Diamonds. IF Diamonds. Internally Flawless. These are not mean? BBSs. None of that shit. Yeah. Internally Flawless. These BBS tools. I don't even, I don't cap about none of it. Yeah. BBS2. Y'all got diamond tests in yeah. I ain't got no diamond tests. I wish we did, man. Sure. Inter- we internal flaws, no what, what does that mean? Does it mean inter- it stays inter- in? Inter- no, internally flawless means the best diamond money can buy. Internal flawless. Internally flawless. flawless. Internally flawless. IF. 
So on my GIA paper, I got IF. A lot of motherfuckers got a VVS. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with VVS, but rap rank. Yeah. <laughs> see, they be making, <laughs> see, they be making <laughs> VVS, you know what I'm saying? See, like it's the end all be all. They be making it like VVS is the end all be all in the yeah, rap that's songs. All, why do they promote that's that? That's all so I hear. Because VVS hit, cuz. Yeah. If you don't, like, VVS is hit, cuz. Like, do hit. I told you I got VVS. VVS twos and this motherfucker, well BS two, mm-hmm. very right. slightly. Then they are very, very slightly. That's right. that. These little motherfuckers right here, these ain't shit for real. But you feel me? Them yeah. hoes do what they do. You know what I'm saying? And before all the deal, I got Jerry. Before all that shit, I had cars. Before all that, man, I can ride. Man. I'm in a Honda right now, no cap. Man. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> My T costs more than the, I got about eight of them bitches. Hey, yeah. shoot, Honda, that's not bad, nigga. You gonna ride that yeah. shit for life. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, the price high in the no, motherfucker staying at Honda. I'm, me saying that is saying it don't matter what yeah. you in. Or what you Bruh, got. Bruh, it's your person, bro. Your character mean every fucking thing in the world. That's when we go back to integrity mm-hmm. as an artist. Boom. I'm going to round the, the interview up with you. What, when I say integrity, me having my own personal integrity as an artist, bro, I mean that shit like, yeah, that's a real thing to have, bro. You nobody, you can't ask about, you can't ask nobody in this motherfucking city. Has I ever asked them for any fucking thing? Mm-hmm. Shit, they can't even get in touch with me. Yeah, I don't know. My nigga stats in the building, man. Man, shouts out to you for coming through, man. man you got a lot of things sure. going. Yeah, and we're going to bring big. you back within a couple more months. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Love, shit, probably bro. next month, man. But, for yeah. sure, man. Appreciate your creativity, man. We'll do that shit man, right now after yes. July. Yeah. I'm going to tell y'all how that shit going. That's okay. a bet, man. And it, it, tell the people to follow you at, bro. At Official 10 Stacks. Official on Instagram. Official. One zero S T A C K Z. Boom. That's my Instagram. And if you want some funny shit, follow me on Facebook. Yeah. T-E-N-N space bar. S-T-A-C-K-Z. Yeah. And last thing, but not least, last thing before we get up out of here, two things that the artists need to do if, if they get into the game tomorrow and they and they very serious. Mm-hmm. What do they need to do? Have poise. Poise. That, just look up that word and have it. Mm-hmm. No cap. That way you can fit in any situation life puts you in with yeah. music. You don't want to get around another rapper acting groupy. That shit lame. Mm-hmm. No cap. You one of them. You got to always know that once you get in the game, you are one of them. You might not be there yet, but you can get there if you keep working. No count, bro. You pause. That's That's that one big word. Go look it up. Pause. Talk to them like you would talk to your homeboy. Straight up. And before we get ready to get up out of here, man, we got to let you know about Prime. Look, man, we was hydrated as hell. My boy was thirsty as hell last week. I was thirsty as hell, exhausted. I said, man, look, I'm going to check out Prime, bro. After I drunk this, I felt back to 100%. Like, I felt good moving around. I wasn't tired. I wasn't sluggish. It put me in the game. And there's no energy drink. So I advise you to go check it out, man, at your nearest stores. Prime. That's Polar Joss, man. We'll see y'all next episode. Nigga, 10 stats. God damn. Nigga, looking like money. Smelling like money. And uh, we got.